So this is a Moog workstat that's uh, not quite like the others. Still has the great sound, but I can do something slightly different. That's because it has an Arduino CPU mod. So if I take the lid off, you can see rather more of it. Let's try that again. So, um, Moog Music released the Mother 32, which is a Eurorack synthesizer, semi-modular. And looking at the analog side of it, it looked very similar to the uh, workstat. And the control side, basically um, some of that was very similar to the MIDI interface um, that I done did last year. And so what I did over the weekend was to see how much of the Moog works, the Mother 32, I could get just by modding this workstat. So on this side over here, I have the basic keyboard uh, override, so the uh, oscillator that drives the keyboard counter is being driven actually from the microcontroller now rather than free running. The counter reset is being overridden so it doesn't reset the counter. This is the uh, most limited bit of the counter output being read back by the microcontroller so it knows when it goes from uh, 7 to 8 or um, 16 to 0 15 to 0. This is the basically the MUX output so there's two analog multiplexers here which are using driving the keyboard keys keep switch matrix and this is a MUX input which is basically pulled out by the 1k resistor up here the two blue things you can see are multi-turn trimmers and they are wired up to the TP14 here provide the voltage control oscillator to the VCO control and when one of these is energized by an output on the microcontroller it adds one octave to the frequency and the other one adds two octaves so microcontroller I can, add, can go add 0, 1, 2 or three octaves. So the microcontroller basically what it does is it knows it's, it pulses the clock here and it uses this line here to sync the counter so it knows what, the, what value the counter has. So therefore it knows what multiplex is doing. It knows which of the switches is currently currently could be pressed. And I'm also using the, this MUX chip here which is the top two bits its output which is pulled high by the 1k resistor. I'm also using that as a uh, select, selector for these uh, LEDs where they're wired common cathode here and here which take two wires back again to two more outputs on the microcontroller. So by programming the microcontroller knowing what the counter is I can individually turn on I can turn on these LEDs. Um, what else is on this circuit? Oh here, this board here basically the level shifter so that the LFO rate the frequency pulse width mod control and the frequency cutoff control can actually be read back uh, by the analog inputs on the microcontroller um, I've glued down some tack switches here and uh, haven't wired them up but they also add extra switch capability so I can actually set some uh, control switches then underneath here is a MIDI I.O. So the idea is that the obviously you can drive this from, from MIDI. Um, so you can play notes, four octave range. Um, I also have a simple um, CR 
integrator for the pulse width modulator converted to analog output roughly and I'll take that over to the uh, frequency cutoff probably um, and I might also have a high, res high resolution a semitone adjustment so that I can use, a micro use another pulse width modulated output to move the, the VCO up and down one semitone. So by moving up that semitone and or using the keyboard I should have a very fairly con uh, continuous but uh, accurate uh, control of the frequency. So I can get, them, get the sounds in between like bending without having to have the, the raw multiple multi-octave uh, VCO uh, control, pulse width modulated control. Um, what's the next? Oh yes, of course, obviously these knobs can actually um, send MIDI, so we can use the uh, the controls to actually control some other device. Um, I'm currently working on being able to read the keypad, make key switches here, um, so that I can actually send note data from the keyboard here. So I understand the Mother 32 um, has a built-in sequencer, which obviously the microcontroller will be able to do. It probably won't have as much memory, so I won't have, I won't have permanent storage. But I can at least uh, have some, make it do some sequencing. And it can also do MIDI output, which um, the, I believe the Mother 32 only has a MIDI in. Then other things that the Mother 32 has, which currently are not on this system, it has voltage control resonance and it also has a noise source which can also be controlled. So I could use the mic one of the microcontrol out pins to generate pseudo noise and I might be able to use the unused half of this um, LM30700 transconductance amplifier to make a VCA to control that with an analog so all in all, it looks like it's going to be a uh, really interesting project.